How's it going everyone? It's Sam. We have a couple good pieces of news to cover here today. A couple big things, a little bit of an insight from Sam Bankman Freed into what's happening right now with institutions, why more institutions aren't piling into crypto. Also, we did get some numbers. Uh, I talked about this a little bit in my video earlier today, but we got some numbers on the amount of stablecoin and it's a sizable amount. A lot of money is sitting on the sidelines, getting ready to get back into crypto. And there's a lot of money just in general that's looking for some place to go. So we're going to talk about all that. If you guys don't mind hitting the like button and subscribe button, I appreciate that. There also is a link down there to BlockFi in case you want to start earning an interest rate. If you're outside the U.S., you can earn an interest rate on BlockFi. If you're in that U.S. still, you can still get up to $250 when you deposit crypto on their platform. There's also a link down there to Unstoppable Domains in case you want a readable domain name so that way... You can send crypto payments really easily, or you can even buy them and resell them on OpenSea and other websites too. You can definitely check out the link underneath the video as well. Now, the crypto market has come down a little bit since earlier today, but I still think we're actually holding up really well. When you look at the stock market, it really dumped off here today, especially the second half of the day. We looked like we were making a low recovery, and then we ended up going another 2.5% down over in the NASDAQ. And some stocks are down really significantly. Like Tesla was down 7% here today. So this has been a rough day for a lot of stocks, but crypto's holding up pretty well. Sure, we fell from 39,000 down to 38,000. It's a couple percent. That's not very much for a risky asset or a more risk on asset in a lot of people's minds, like cryptocurrency. I thought that was pretty interesting that Sam Bankman Fried gave a little bit of an explanation for why more institutions aren't getting into crypto. I mean, we saw KPMG get in, that's a big company. We've seen Tesla get in, those are companies uh, that are allocating probably hundreds of millions to billions of dollars towards crypto. But we're not seeing a huge mass adoption of these larger investing institutions uh, just because of the lack of clarity from the government right now. He says, we've definitely seen some institutions start to get involved in this space, but right now it's really just a trickle. So he says the main reason for this is because these are slow moving companies. Also, they are very methodical about how they enter. But in addition to that, he thinks they are waiting for more regulatory clarity before they feel comfortable diving in. The lack of macro certainty doesn't make it any easier for the institutions either. Those are the two biggest problems right now and why they're not feeling more comfortable. So Sam Bankman Freed runs FTX. I think we have one big piece of news though that could be really helpful for this, which is Joe Biden giving an executive order on cryptocurrency this week. Now, from what we know so far, it sounds like there's not going to be a huge amount of clarity. It's basically going to be like he's directing a variety of different agencies to study crypto and CBDCs and come up with a government-wide strategy to regulate crypto, and that's going to be moving forward. So I don't know if some institutions will feel more comfortable with this. We already know that uh, certain areas of the government said that they're not banning cryptocurrency, but hopefully there's more regulation and more clarity in the coming months. I think it might take a little while, but maybe some companies feel a little bit more comfortable. And after KPMG made their move, I'm guessing more people feel comfortable, more companies and institutions feel comfortable now with them getting into it. Also, I did cover this this morning, but I think it's really important to take a look. Luna jumped 15% today with USD stablecoin getting a $1 billion Bitcoin reserve. So if you haven't seen my video from earlier today, definitely check that out because this is really big news and it sent Luna up significantly. A lot of other cryptos are kind of sideways or up a little bit, but Terra's up 12% on the last 24 hours. And we got some other big news uh, when we're talking about stablecoin here. Total stablecoin supply hits $180 billion. It surged about $10 billion over the past 30 days. And you can see how it's broken down here. Obviously, the majority is in USDT, but we've seen USDC grow a lot while USDT has not grown as much. They say in this article that at this pace, USDC should outpace USDT by June. But then we also have UST and BUSD, and then we have some other cryptos too, some other stable coins. But $180,000 is a significant amount. And what's interesting is it's not like this is pumping out of nowhere. It's not like uh, we saw the sell-off in December and it really accelerated the stablecoin. 
people are just adding because they see the possibility in stablecoin. I'm guessing, you know, we're looking at DeFi, we're looking at a variety of different use cases for stablecoin, not just all sitting on the sidelines, but also getting some yield. And this is really compelling. From what I can see here, there's not one month where it goes down from the month before, which is amazing. So a lot of people are seeing the potential in DeFi and just in stablecoin in general. So I think that's really interesting. But one other thing to consider is, even though we're seeing money flood out of crypto, you have to remember a lot of money is on the sidelines. When we look at how much some of the stock market is down, there had to be probably a trillion, maybe more than a trillion dollars coming out of the stock market, probably several trillion, because we're down you know, 10% or so on some of these indexes. Now the, the S&P 500 is down nearly 12%, I believe, from its high. NASDAQ's uh, in a full, uh, not even correction, I believe it's in a bear market or a technically crashed. I believe it's over 20% now. So a lot of stocks are down really significantly. This money isn't just evaporated. Sure, when you look at how market caps work, if you take out a billion dollars of some stock or you sell a billion dollars, it drags down the stock a lot more in market cap than $1 billion. But still, a lot of people are taking money out. So a lot of money sitting there just waiting for more clarity. Part of that's tied to Russia, part of it's due to inflation rates, and part of it's due to Fed rate hikes. Some of it's due to, you know, regulation uncertainty, like in crypto. But there is a lot of money that's looking to be distributed somewhere. It just is going to take a little while. So I think that's really interesting to think about the possibilities. And some people are really bullish on crypto. I am really bullish on crypto over the coming years. But a lot of billionaires, a lot of people that have a lot of brand recognition, like Kevin O'Leary, he said that crypto is going to become the 12th sector of the S&P 500 in a few years. That'd be a huge endorsement for cryptocurrency. So that's what we have to look forward to. Hopefully that happens. That would be awesome. But right now we're just kind of in this kind of boring period. You know, Bitcoin's around 36, 37, 38, 39, just back and forth. And we really have been in this bearish pattern. But I think long term, this is still a great investment. I'm going to keep on DCing. Like I've said over the last few videos, I, I've given what I'm going to do and I've told what I'm going to do in the last couple of videos. But I want to bring this to your attention that there is a lot of money sitting on the sidelines just getting ready to jump in. We do have some inflation numbers coming out Friday, so be on the lookout for that. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for checking out the links underneath the video to BlockFi and Unstoppable Domains. Bye.